Hi, I'm Dave. And you are Dave. I'm Dave. Yes. Uh, I am Maxis Rock and you are Heathen. Yes. And we are at Sweden Rock Festival. We are at Sweden Rock. Yes. Heathen's first time. First time. Yeah, and beautiful day. Beautiful day. It has been. Yeah. Your show was great, right? Ah, oh, it was good. It was and good? The, yeah, well, you know. Not great. I Well, I can't say. <laughs> Only the, the kids can say. But I had fun, for sure. Cool, cool. Yeah. You sing. I do, I sing. Same. Sometimes. At least Sometimes. that's what some people say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you've been around for a long time. I have. Yeah, long time. <laughs> you have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, he then actually, we just we came back together and we have a new record. And mm. we put out in 2010, Evolution of Chaos. Yes. And now we're with Nuclear Blast and we're working on yeah. a new album. Very so, good. yeah. When is it going to be out? Uh, soon. We, we're almost soon. finished with it. We're just mixing it. Okay. And then we're busy now because we're on tour. Yeah. How big tour? Uh, one month. One month? One month with the festivals. Okay. So today, we, we started in Berlin uh, yesterday. Okay. And then today, Sweden Rock. And then tomorrow, Hamburg. Okay. And I don't know what else after that. But <laughs> we do Hellfest. We're doing Hellfest. And we're doing um, Dockham Open Air. And we, right. at the end of the tour, um, we'll finish with uh, Grass Pop. Oh. Excellent, yeah. excellent yeah. tour actually. Yeah, so then lots of dates in between. So we brought out our friends, uh, Generation Kill. Generation Kill. And some kids, some g local kids from Germany. Okay. A new band, uh, Dust Bowl. Okay, yeah. that'd be very cool. Yeah. Nice to have your own uh, European yes. thing, right? Yes, so great. <laughs> so great. It's Nuclear like, Blast is the best. Is what's the best. that? Nuclear Blast is the best, right? Yeah, yes, they are the best. Yes. Yeah, we're home now. Yeah. <laughs> You're for sure. Home for you. Home free. That's what I told you. I said, now we're home. Finally. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, it's a good feeling, yeah. But it's a good. Uh, it's a good uh, age for thrash as well, right? Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's just had a revival. It's you a know, huge I was just talking about it yes the other day. Maybe it was yesterday because it's so. But <laughs> we 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 were asked to reform for the Thrash of the Titans in yeah. 2001. Mm -hmm. For Chuck Billy from Testament, yeah. um, and all kinds of bands from the Bay Area, they reunite. Yeah. Death Angel, Forbidden, Violence, mm -hmm. right? Heathen Exodus played, um, and even Anthrax and Flotsam Jetsam came, and all the bands that weren't together anymore played that night. Everybody had such a good time. It's like, it was like hey, <laughs> maybe we should do this again. And then we got invited to play Valken the following year. Okay. And that's when we decided. Hey, you know, there's a, there's an audience again. Yeah. So, unbelievably, we have a new record, and now we have we're gonna, we're <laughs> writing a new record from that. And very, we've, very we've cool. done this is our this is our seventh tour in the last like three years. You know, so amazing. Yeah, I mean, this is. How have you grown? Uh, well, from from the first area to this one. Uh, I think quite a bit. I mean, I, I think that um, we just understand you know, what's going on with with music and, and, and with the touring and what what's expected of us. Mm -hmm. And because of the the dynamic has changed so much because of the internet, yeah. you have the, everybody's downloading, downloading. So you go, okay, well, what can you do? You know, and when we put, when we actually put the band back together, we didn't have control of breaking the silence and we didn't have no. control of victims of deception. Gosh. So what did we do? We put it on our website for free download. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's true. Excellent. Excellent. Because and then we went and then we did a tour on our own for two, in 2005 and all these kids they said, "Oh, I was 8 years old when that album came out, but oh, it's great." It's like <laughs> shit. You know? But we want to expose them and give them that, mm. you know? And then and then now recently since that um, Breaking the Silence has been re-released mm. under, uh, I can't remember the label now, but, <clears throat> and also Victims of Deception. I won't even mention the name, labels. No, just, but those, those records are out there now. Yeah. A little bit. Nice. So, which is good. Very you know, nice. so now, and then we have Evolution of Chaos, um, which the label that did that did a pretty good job. And now Nuclear Blast, we're hoping that they're going to do a great job of for the next record. They do. And we already have... We have tons of material, just yeah. pulling it all together now, and I think I think the fans and I think <laughs> Nuclear Blast is going to be very happy. Yes, you know the, some of the guys from Nuclear Blast have heard some of the songs already, just just the music. But yeah, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> Who does what? Um, 
Well, you know, mostly it's it's the guitar players and me. Okay. Um, the, the guitar players, will, like Craig, and he's he lives in Los Angeles, so he's writing, and then he'll send me stuff and send everybody stuff, and okay. then they can kind of do their thing. But then I'm working on stuff, and then you know we try to get together to work out if, if there's something with the vocal or the melody. Yep. And then same thing with Lee, but Lee and I both live in the Bay Area still, okay. so it's much easier. Nice. <laughs> Although he's busy with an, with his other band yeah. as well sometimes. So it's hard to reel him in, And but he has a lot of material too. So that's all coming together. And we have we probably have enough for two records. Ooh. So that people don't have to wait too long. Well, we'll do a new Maybe record. Maybe you'll do a volume one and two. Not a double, no. No, no. no. we'll do no. one. And then we'll make you wait. <laughs> we'll make you wait, and then we'll put out the other one because maybe we don't finish. We maybe we won't finish it yet, but no. we'll have the songs mm. for that. I mean, we're trying to to write as many songs, you know. But when we write, we don't. We're not the type of band that writes a bunch of songs and go, oh, well, let's take 30 songs and condense them down to to 10. No. We're gonna write 20 really good songs. And then we're going to make two records and with 10 songs. you will want to keep them all. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. Hey, no talking to the camera girl. Hans. Sorry. Hans. God damn it. What are you doing? Just she was kind of cute. I know she's cute, but you're distracting us uh -huh. from the interview. Shame on you. Shame Hans. on you. Hans. <laughs> That's okay. Come on. You do the interview too. Yeah. That's Come okay. On. Now get out of the fucking interview. We will now call security. Hans, Why? we will call Thank security you on you. That was Hans and his yeah, yeah. Your own shows or the festival shows? Uh, well, it's. Mm, I like the small. I like the the show regular shows because they're more intimate. Mm. But I like the festivals too because you reach a bigger audience. Mm. And and to be a part of something big like this really is great. Yeah. And so. I mean, it's like, really, it's a dream come true, mm. like for the big, the big shows, and that's I, I I'd much rather play them than come to them, mm. because it's so you know crazy, so many people, but um, no, I really I, I love it all, you know, just just let me just do it, yeah, if, just let if, me do if it. If ever if anyone hasn't seen you live, uh, what can you expect from seeing him live? Good a lot of energy, um, some good music, great like I mean just. Good interaction with 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 all the guys in the group, you know, with the drumming and the guitar playing, and and um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna give you everything I got every time. Um, you know, we want <laughs> those assholes right there. Um, no, but definitely people keep walking by and that was a heathen guy. Those assholes, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, it's. It's. I think that we, we we push a lot of energy because we we care about what we're doing. We enjoy what we're doing, and we understand that it's that's important. Mm. And here's John Deddy right here. Hello, Hi, John, John Deddy. Hello, John. He's kind of a big deal, but uh, he he came with us on this tour and he's kicking ass. <laughs> Great drummer. Great drummer. Um, John, come and say hi. Hey, John, come say hi. Come say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is we Dave. We are access right. Yeah, I'm Dave. Dave. This is Dave. Yeah. All right, Dave. Yep. This nice is John to meet Deddy. You. Hello, how are you? <laughs> doing the we are Axis Rock. So, what's that? So, we are Axis Rock. So, awesome. How how is the drum set? How is the drum what? Drum set. The drum set. It's uh, it it's a bunch of wood and some plastic and some metal and it sounds the same as it always does. <laughs> Important stuff. These are horrible interview. <laughs> no. No, it's going good. You know what? Um, uh, Lee called me. What was it? Two weeks ago? It was really recent, actually. Yeah. Uh, Lee called me uh, a couple weeks ago, asked me if I could do uh, this Heathen run with him, and um, you know, uh, I I was just doing the Slayer thing and the Anthrax thing in Australia, and uh, obviously with Jeff passing, that's uh, that's changed some yeah. things with um, with the Slayer camp and and with me. Yeah. And uh, so the timing was right. I actually I went out on tour with Heathen uh, two years ago. Okay. Uh, destruction. With the on the destruction tour, yeah. and uh, we 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 hit it off. We got along great. I love the band. I love the guys. So uh, I'm happy to be here. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I like staying at my house, <laughs> drinking all my wine and you know ah, the turkey. He's got great wine. He's got he's got really great good wine. wine. But yeah. But today you're healthy and just drinking orange juice. Yeah. 
It's no, just orange juice. Just orange juice mm. because we would never, ever on camera mm -mm. be drinking mm -mm. anything but the best that Florida has to offer. <laughs> the best orange juice. And also, also Russia. Worst <laughs> tour moments ever. Worst tour moments? Yes. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm like a, I'm like the, the, the kind of guy that's like the glass half full, okay. as a, as as opposed to the glass half empty. Mm, okay. So. So you'd rather tell me the best. Well, I mean, I just don't even like. I, I'm trying to like even think of something that wasn't good. I I could tell you like, for this story, but it's only the second day. Yeah. So everything is, on the rise. Yeah. Um, I know that we we did the. The Thrash Classic Fest with Exodus and Sepultura mm. and Destruction um, back in uh, 2011 in the in the winter time. Yeah. Um, great tour, really good vibe. Everybody's getting along, and you know, it, because everybody's good friends. Yeah. Sepultura we toured with in two, in 90, 91. Yeah. And so it was our 20, 20 year anniversary. Right? Oh. <laughs> but we played a show in Germany, the second to last show. Okay. Great show. All the guys from Nuclear Blast were there. Awesome show, but we had one more show, one and I was show? so exhausted, so tired. I just wanted to go home, but the show was good. But I just was done. No, that's the only negative thing. I, I I was just we had such a great show the night before, and it was just like one more, one more, really. But we did it one more, and then how can you cope? How can you kind of? Do you smack yourself in the face? Well, kind of. To just kind of. I think get that going? before the show, before the show, I was just, I have to say, I was whining out of control. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just, I just was ready to go home. I was yeah. ready. You know, I was just done. But then once you hit the stage and the kids are there, it, it that, you know, that lights you up. Mm. That brings you back to what you're doing. And you can't fail them. No. So, of course, I can. So, Bam, bam, bam. Get off. <laughs> now I'm whining again. And then we had to wait and we go to the airport really early in Vienna and wait and ah, and long flight. The waiting is the worst, right? Yeah, Everybody's but, but other than that, I mean, it, we've, I've, I've, we've had so many great experiences, you know, and, and I, I love to come over here so much. And, and um, even leading to this tour, um, we had a family... My, 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 my mom passed away last year and a lot of family stuff going on and working on her house all since then for the six months and getting ready for the tour okay. and getting more excited to, to come and break away from that. Yeah. Just all the drama and, and getting messages face, from Facebook but also emails from friends I have over here. You know, like people just like, oh, if you're coming to Holland, you know, make sure you come to our house. We're gonna have a big barbecue. You can come uh, wash your clothes. Great. You can do. And I have to tell you, Feels there was like I had like a moment like yeah. when I'm reading this the email, and I'm like, you know, like you you feel that really like you feel that love, mm. and I it, it touched me so much, you know, to know that. We have so many good friends, mm. and I, it made me very excited to go. Mm. It's like, okay, 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 and get me through, and then get on the plane to come here. Yeah. And the first show, I have a lot of good friends that came to the Berlin show. And, you know, there's a lot of new people, but you see your friends. Yeah. And it's it makes you feel comfortable. And even today, I have good friends that came yeah. all the way from Spain. Oh, really? Yeah, and they were in the crowd, oh. and, you know, they're right there. And, you know, it's it's amazing. Yeah. And I just, I have to say, I, I love the heavy metal community for that. Because True. It's, because True. we're going to have that for our whole lives. True. So. All the songs are angry and it, it, Yeah, but you know, it's like people that. Death and well, stuff, but some it's stuff. It's just love. But, you know, like if you, if you're, like for me, I don't, I don't write so angry sometimes, some stuff. But. You're letting that out, and then the crowd—they're letting out some stuff. But then also they're enjoying the music, and and we're working together, and it's all part of like this 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 thing. Mm. You we know? are actually just a big heavy metal. Fan. Isn't that crazy? But I, you know, when I was young, I did an interview with a. It was back when the 
in the United States they had a uh, uh, Tipper Gore. She did it was yeah. a whole against the heavy metal, like because they thought everybody's Satanist, you know. <laughs> and it's like, well, and so I did an interview with this music um, conservatory, and they they asked me questions about all this stuff. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and and really what I, c I could tell them was, you know, if it wasn't for heavy metal, and and the music scene, I mean, I have people friends from all over the globe, mm. you know, I mean. And it, uh, friendships. That be your it wasn't. That's yeah. not a. That's I not know. a. That's not a. Uh, a bad thing. No. It's not a. It's not a negative thing. Not at it's all. a positive thing. Yeah. I'm not sitting home thinking of, you know, doing no. some cr crazy bullshit. You know. Sure. Hey, you. Now another one. <laughs> I'm not. But you know what I mean. It's like. I, it's only positive that that I that I take from it. Like I said, yeah. I'm always glass half full, mm. and and when you de when you develop those relationships over the time, and as long as you understand how important and care about those relationships, because some people don't. No. But I do. I don't take that for granted ever. No, of course not. And so here we are again, <laughs> and I hope it's many 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 times over. So. Now it's kind of happening. Well, it is, and then thank God. <laughs> you know, because who knew? Who knew that it was going to happen again? No. You know, and you know, we're all the band is 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 older now, more seasoned now, but we we haven't forgotten How where we came from. Do this? No. Yeah, no, we haven't, and I think we proved that with the evolution of chaos. We proved that that we just we're going to do, we're going to make, we're going to write and record the best songs that we can, and we'll let the Kids decide, and they said, and they, "Oh yeah, they love it." Right? Yeah, they, it was a good response, and so and it's still it's still happening now. So, and we're not done. No. 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 So. So I will see you back then in Sweden for. I hope so. Next record. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. Okay. I I want to thank you guys all so much, you know, and support your local bands, and if you want to play in a band. Work hard, but don't forget to go to school and learn and take some business classes because this is a tough business. Tough is it, but it is a business, and you need to play your guitar as best you can, or sing, or drum, whatever. But know your math. Very. Very I'm not joking. Very true. Not joking, because this is tough, but it's also the best job in the fucking world. So.